Right, hello everybody, welcome to Wednesday World Class. Um, I'm Jim McMahon, and with me in the commentary booth is Mr. Gorilla Metzo. Hello, hello, hello. It is Wednesday World Class. My name is Gorilla Metzo. We are live from Dallas, Texas. And we are done talking about bull testicles and shrimp and all that Ooh. other goodness. It's time for Wednesday of World Class. <laughs> and speaking of Dave, we've got a match coming up with Dave and a bunch of other idiots in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, though. Look at this. Coming out of nowhere, Tarsus making his return his tri triumphant that's not the word we want his <laughs> his uh inglorious no that's not the word we want his return to the world class venue and the jfw and all that other shit <laughs> should be the eab champion right now some would say but instead we've got hashtag not my champion jimmy min max tastic holding his belt after the screw job just a few weeks ago at Money in the Ass, and he is um, not really uh, living the life of a main eventer right now, in there with the likes of fucking Space Cadet, <laughs> Otter Oil, Goliath, at least Goliath is cool, and uh, Breaking Dad. And, uh, you know, again, I don't want to denigrate Dave, because Dave deserves every ounce of TV time he gets. Yeah. But that's the match ahead of us, Jim. Six man world class match, elimination style. Most of the match will just be the entrances, especially Goliaths. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty exciting. Oh, dear. Deep. <laughs> Oh dear. Taz is gonna join with New Zine Chandler. New Zine Chandler's a good idea, but uh, not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and here he comes, Tarsus. You can see it in his eyes. He's pissed off. Make no mistake, that is the man himself. The Mega Luchador, not Jimmy Minmax Tastic. You can tell because his beard is real. And his size is completely different. <laughs> Two totally different people. Yep. <laughs> yep. Totally different. Clearly. Oh, oh, how the mighty have fallen. The Parsis is when we last saw him. We thought he could possibly be the man to take down EAB. He'd already done it once. He had the title shot lined up. Instead, he has to fucking deal with this bullshit in this match on the show that we cancel half the time. Let's be honest, he's lucky that Vince, Mr. Mr. Jim McMahon is letting him wrestle at all, isn't he? Well, I, I mean, I agree that he is lucky that Mr. Jim McMahon is not tipping the scales further to protect his golden boy, Jimmy Minmax Tastic, when Tarsus, of all people in the JFW, should have the most reasonable claim to that belt. And I believe if we don't see Tarsus versus Jimmy Minmax Tastic at SummerSlam, then we have just a complete abortion of justice and uh, or miscarriage of justice. One of those uh, words you probably shouldn't say <laughs> um, in the JFW. <laughs> you butchered that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been a, I've been a, yeah, yeah. Hasn't yeah. been going great thus far. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks pretty cool. Though. I like his entrance. I'll probably say that every time. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. You definitely very creatively chose to give him a cookie cutter Alistair Black entrance. Good yep. job on you. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's a good idea, Tarsus. Yeah, Tarsus versus Jimmy and Wanga and AAB. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, make it a thing. Oh, Tarsus, you might. Tarsus is a social media manager. You are not doing any favors for your man right now. <laughs> I would recommend not putting those ideas in Jim's head. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that does beg the question, if not Tarsus, who is going after that title at SummerSlam, Jim? There's really no one else that, that I that I feel deserves that shot nearly as much as Tarsus. Come on, you got anyone that you can think of? Well, Kurgle, Kurgle's uh, certainly, mm. certainly done a lot in the past. Remember, he won the three-way between uh, Tarsus and EAB to get the title shot. And then it well, was Mr. I... Jims McMahon that allowed it to be Tarsus versus uh, the Kurgle after that. So actually, Kurgle's got just as much right for a claim as Tarsus, I would say. Gosh, you know, I hate to yield ground in an analysis of wrestling with you, Jim, <laughs> but you have a hell of a point there. Kurgle would be one of the men that I could consider being in that main event match at SummerSlam. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, a, uh, a, a confession here, live on air, of a violation of the wellness po policy, Tarsus admitting to consuming hard drugs while at work, absolutely outrageous. I, I feel like you're trying to push a narrative there, Jim, that uh, seems suspiciously to be in favor of uh, Mr. Jim McMahon's agenda and Jimmy Finnack's password. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. This is indeed uh, Dave. Yeah, yeah. How dare us talk over Dave's entrance? We can forget all this other drama for right now and just drink in the man, the myth, the legend, Dave. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Tarsus Tarsis crew, Tarsis. Exactly. Exactly, Frosty. <laughs> oh, Bessel, you're a funny little fucker. <laughs> Bessel! <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I cannot imagine anyone would be so shameless as to try that two times in a row. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous, Bessel. You are ridiculous. Just like Devin Hester. He is Space Cadet, look! Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, he sure is! Always captivating Space Cadet, <laughs> one of the earliest movers and shakers in the JFW, best known for that bizarre main event opening night match <laughs> against he who shall no longer be named in this industry. Uh, <laughs> the ladder match um, to uh, end all ladder matches. Yeah, it was epic. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's a great idea, actually, J5. <laughs> oh, oh, pardon me. Pardon me for just a few minutes here. Gonna have to mute myself. I'm not gonna Ooh. mute myself. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Only joking. Ah, selling time. That's a good idea, Jeffo. Stop giving him ideas. <laughs> Hard enough to rein him in as it is, guys. <laughs> Jimmy versus a paper bag. That's a good idea as well. <laughs> the bread mask. <laughs> That's true. People can go up with classes. Oh, here is Goliath's uh, PR man in the in the chat. Hello, Goliath. <laughs> Wow. To there. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Goliath. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is that is too easy, then, Gary. <laughs> well, not if it's on the mic or backstage, baby. <laughs> Four. Pretty much, yeah, Captain Flug Noodle. I mean, that's the best part, is the entrances. Even though we've seen them all before, <laughs> it's still pretty much the best part. I mean, you can't look at what's going on in the ring right now and not tell me that you wouldn't mind an entire show of just Goliath doing that in the middle of the ring for two hours. Yeah, I'd watch it. 
nothing to steal. We can grab steal. ourselves. We can grab ourselves some bull testicles. Have a little snack. I was just gonna say, I'm listening to Skuro's tales of bull testicles, and then there you go, you went straight. We we yeah, we are we are we are one, Jim. We've finally done it. <laughs> oh baby. Yeah, that's gonna suck for me. It's gonna take the, the bell curve on me. It's gonna take me way down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, and Goliath just throwing Dave across the ring. <laughs> Tars is wasting no time going after breaking Dad and missing with a kick. <laughs> and uh, shockingly, Space is um, in the match. <laughs> oh, che cheeky counter by Dave. He's trying to chop him down. And <laughs> gets fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. god. Oh god, Goliath's breaking. Oh Dave, home. no, the big power bomb on Dave. And this could be an early exit for Dave. That would be no, just a one count. <laughs> Dave cut from a tougher cloth. <laughs> Does the big boot to Goliath's midsection because Goliath is much bigger than him. Oh, Basil, yeah, it was pretty great in the SFL Discord, yeah. yeah. Literally, like, flexing all of my exotic food photography muscles and Jim just, I like chicken. <laughs> I like chicken. Why doesn't everything just eat, eat, eat chicken? Why don't you just eat chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the pressure's on. Let, let, me, well, let me just edit the stats. <laughs> does, now the, que the question is, if Goliath unsubs, does that also unsub every gifted sub that Goliath has provided? Oh, in, in which case, Jimmy, you might need to find a new job, my friend. <laughs> oh no, I've, I've got to stream Blood Bowl tomorrow now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> derp, derp, chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> oh no, chicken. All right. Dave wisely moving on from Goliath as his main opponent, going after Otter Oil. Space Cadet not protecting his balls and <laughs> diving into that which is Goliath. Man, I wish I could play the game. I could take over Goliath and win, but I don't know any yeah, of the No, controls. no, you couldn't. <laughs> no, you couldn't. That's what Space, I mean. I don't uh, know any of the controls. A... There's no way I could. Space popping a squat on the top rope there. Don't know what he's <laughs> Look at Space. Oh, he fell. Oh, Dave wisely breaks up the top rope maneuver by throwing Otter Oil into the ropes. And now, <laughs> I don't Goliath. like liver. Liver's too exotic. I actually don't really like liver either. I don't think I've had much of it to like really know or care, but from what I have seen, I, I, I haven't really ever wanted it. It's like if broccoli was meat, it would be liver. <laughs> like, I've had pate and been like, yeah, it's fine on a cracker with, like, cheese on, like, a cheese plate, but, like, I would also never seek it out, ever. Yeah. But I haven't had, like, proper, like, liver and onions like Basil's probably talking about. Mm. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, uh, culturally we're separated in that way even though we live pretty close to each other <laughs> if that was the least anti-semitic way to say that <laughs> i know i watched it and i was fascinated by it but I just wow really Basil? did you yeah. read it with a fine chianti <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty anti-semitic i assume <laughs> <laughs> well, we are off the rails today, folks. It's going to be a long, shortest show of the week. <laughs> and Space dropping the elbow from the top rope to break up the pinning attempt in an elimination match. A bold decision, <laughs> but that's usually what we expect from Space Cadet. Uh, yeah, living on means with mash is what my parents had a lot when I was a kid, and I did not like oh. it. Maybe he's like it. I feel like I remember having an extended conversation with Bezel about liver and onions and how to prepare it and whatnot. But maybe I'm mis misremembering. <laughs> uh oh, Tarsus, a little bit of a uh, little bit of brain worms there, but he does recover <laughs> in time to get shinbreakered by the horn helmet of Space Cadet. <laughs> oh man, what a maneuver by Tarsus! 
Yeah, seems to be still staying on top of the much smaller man. Impressive <laughs> stuff? Question mark. <laughs> His back gave out lifting up a decent heavyweight then. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. I'll do it. I'll do a gym cooking stream sometime. Yeah. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Be pretty epic. Oh, top rope Goliath. That did not work out for him. Look at this. Look at space right now. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, into the pin. No, Goliath breaks it up. But doesn't <laughs> get up. That was strange. How did you how did you how did you guess Frosty? <laughs> Chicken, broccoli, rice. Mmm. <laughs> While eating. <laughs> but I thought you didn't even like broccoli. I don't like it, but you still gotta eat it, haven't you? Gotta get your macros. I mean, do you like spinach? You can nope. just eat spinach. Oh, oh look the at big that. elbow drop. That could be it for Goliath. Look at this. He's the here. Healed. Oh no, I don't know what Tarsus is doing. <laughs> The, the, the double pin by Tarsus. It was a double pin. Tarsus, the yeah. cheaty. Very cheaty smart machism. by Tarsus helping the little man with the pin there. And what does he get for his trouble? A fucking clover leaf. <laughs> I can't see how that would possibly work. A clover leaf already is ludicrous because it's your arms versus yeah. their legs. But now yeah. it's, it's a tiny little skinny runt against a massive dude. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, sorry, Goliath, you got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Night Demon definitely vying to uh, oh, get six feet world down world under removed from their run That's at the Two Heads Championship. Look at this from space! He's eliminated! Go oh, on. He's got two now! Gets Tarsus as well! Unbelievable! Space is on a tear! <laughs> It's like it's like he's facing off against Jimmy Fantastic and Blood Bowl right now. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Prove me wrong, Jim. Prove me wrong. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> Hashtag not my AV7. <laughs> I can't wait for Jim to wait for the next Space Cadet 24-hour drinking stream to snipe him to try and get back into Blood Bowl and then still get diced into a <laughs> Oh boy, uh, Space might have shut down though momentarily here, folks. <laughs> he's just well, biding his time and now he's attacking. <laughs> he's waiting for the perfect moment to miss a stomp on Otter Oil. Can he go three for three in eliminations here? Maybe. Do you remember that match where we had somebody who like made five elimin four eliminations and then lost? I think it was Calcium or somebody. Uh, I do remember that. Um, it was such a shame. <laughs> made five eliminations then lost. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know who it was, but you know how we could find out, Jim. We could go to www.jimmyfantastic.com or YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic, where you can find all of the clips of the JFW. Oh, brilliant. Thank all you. Oh, Dave has just hit his finisher. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso, for that plug. Very good. My, my internet completely froze on me for a second there, but you seem to have assumed I was done talking, so I guess I am. <laughs> no, Dave. Dave hit Space Cadet with the, uh, uh, with the big Dave slam and fucked him. Yep. Yeah, Dave takes takes the hero of the hour out, and now it's a three-man brawl, and Otter Oil, the only one standing tall. <laughs> yeah, it's the two. It's the two uh, fucking bargain basement max mask men. <laughs> <laughs> A combined total of three pounds was spent on their two masks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Have a look at my Discord. Okay, Goliath. Hey, we're not busy or anything right now, Jim. Do it, uh, you know, check your email too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I check my email all the time during these shows. <laughs> 
Oh my god, the picture, there's a picture of Goliath. Harry. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I want to see this. It's pretty amazing. I'll put it on the stream after, after, uh, oh. after the show. Oh god, it broke everything. <laughs> oh god, Hot Royal just missed Glorious. breaking that. No, I won't give oh. in. Until I'm victorious. And I will <laughs> defend. I don't know what happened there, I but I clicked the last link and it just shut down everything on Discord for me, so I guess he probably has my social security number now. Oh dear, yeah, no he no he shouldn't have. So are you no you still you still here though, that's that's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I can I it came back but it ended it ended the live view. I think it was probably because I was like leaving Discord or something. Right. Should I start streaming again then or is it okay? No, no, it's good now. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um. <laughs> oh, the big hook was was Breaking Dad Eliminator just thrown out of the ring. Oh, was that was that was that a gift? Was it from uh, Goliath? Oh, thank you very much, Goliath. And uh, <laughs> thanks for staying fantastic, Dave. <laughs> thank you, Otter Oil. Also, hello. Oh, I didn't actually realize Otter Oil was in the chat. Getting a bit fucked by Dave right now, but it's hard to imagine facing a man of such significance as Dave and standing tall. Auto Oil gotta try and fight back here, but well, I don't know. The odds are against him because that is Dave that he just threw into the corner and kicked. Dave! Thank you very much, Goliath. Glorious. <laughs> Garage sale, kids. <laughs> Dave is even is Dave is even paler than Jimmy. Oh, oh no, and there's Dave's finisher again. Having a little nappy. He's and got him. Oil. Well, second to last this time, not too bad. He's got him. Hello, Cocky. Hello, Tony. Hello, hello. Unbelievable. It's the John Cena and the nappy. <laughs> yeah, world heavyweight champion Tony plays poorly. Not on the show tonight. He is one of our Friday night stars. Tony, got any insights as to what's going on with your title for SummerSlam? We don't have an opponent for you. Don't know what, what what's going to happen there. Oh, and here's Unseen Walker as well. Hello. <laughs> Hello, former World Heavyweight Champion. Wouldn't mind being a two-time champion. That's for damn sure. Uh-oh, Dave Ooh. in very big trouble. Look at that. This could be it. <laughs> it is. And it is breaking data. Huge win. Haven't seen him on uh, standing tall at the end of a lot of matches, but he's got one tonight, and that's a uh, that's a pretty good pickup for him and his son Matt Stryker. Stryker. Storm. Storm. Fuck. It was Storm. <laughs> God damn it. But in fairness, he hasn't been on the show in like two months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony, we do not want to play that game right now. I, Jim is taking notes. People have been suggesting similar things. I was trying to open up, trying to open up channels for what you think is right. Jim. For fuck's sake, Tony! <laughs> Stop being shit. <laughs> oh, better. He didn't have it stolen. He didn't have. He did. Tarsus didn't have anything stolen from him. Neither did. Neither did EAB. EAB lost fair and square. Tarsis lost his opportunity. That's it. Jimmy's the greatest. Yeah, there you go. Thank yeah, you, Cocky. Yeah, you're making Trending making number one on Twitter it. now. Jimmy's the greatest. Absolutely glorious. Thank uh, you yeah. so much, Cocky. Everyone agrees with Cocky. Oh, yeah. Well, as we know, as we know from Jimmy Fantastic Stream <laughs> Rules, written in caps is what matters. And it looks like, who do we got down there? Skirmetsa, Moradam, Frostlord Army, hashtag not my champ. These guys know what's up. The universe has spoken, and they have rendered the verdict that Jimmy Minmax Tastic is a crook and doesn't deserve that title. <laughs> Hey, I'm already a heavyweight, Tony. It's just that, uh, well, not I. Uh, Jimmy Fantastic is already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jimmy Fantastic is is already a heavyweight. It's just that he you, you're able to challenge for a title above your weight class, just not underneath it. So if Jimmy Fantastic wanted to, Jimmy Fantastic could challenge for the World Heavyweight Champion as well. Yeah, absolutely. Jimmy Fantastic could, in fact, challenge for that title. 
but uh, I think uh, the ratings would significantly plummet were that to be the case. Mm-hmm. Also, he could lose about five pounds and then challenge for the light heavyweight championship too. And he could lose a little bit more, like he has done in the past, and challenge for the cruiserweight title as well. He could, he could, he could be, he could be a champion. He could have all of the belts to himself if if, if he was if he was so you know good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that would definitely uh, help you on your way to your uh, full time streaming dreams, baby. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So here we go. Look at this match. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, he is. Here is a very interesting match. This world class match is between all of the tag teams that are good. <laughs> um, one one member from each, slogging it out. Yeah. Speaking speaking of titles that are wide open for SummerSlam, it is so hard to make the case for just one tag team to go after the two heads titles. Uh, you know, we've seen Six Feet Down Under, we've seen Don Stout's Revolution, we've seen my personal favorites, the Unnatural Snackers, and uh, also, uh, I guess, the rest of the business, too, with Lemon is Good. And it's, Dust it's Hats? Uh, no, they're pretty much out of it. But <laughs> <laughs> point being, so much talent in the tag division, we might just have to put all of them in a match as far as I'm concerned, but I don't make the rules here. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen for SummerSlam. All I know is this is the one division where those titles are just going to put on the match of the night because all these tag teams are so deserving and you can't really make a wrong decision. Absolutely. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Oh, God, Cocky, that was a brilliant idea. Also, I just saw Unify the Belts, Jimmy. That's brilliant, isn't it? That's brilliant. Unify the Bells, Jimmy. That's trending. Number number one on Twitter right now from Cocky. Fantastic stuff. Unify the Number one on Twitter from one dude not on Twitter. Uh, How do you say shut the fuck up in in America? (laughs) You shoot shoot someone. Why? (laughs) Yeah, fair enough. Just imagine I've shot you over the internet, Skuro. I'll sue you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll sue you. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Tony. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God, if only you could do that, Ansi. <laughs> oh, God. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? That's the sort of dumb shit that somebody could do in their own fucking jacking off universe. And it fucking actually happens. What a fucking joke. Stop giving him ideas, everyone. <laughs> I know he's a busy man, but Mr. Jim McMahon does watch his programming from time to time, and he definitely takes notes. Stop putting ideas in his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, here's Lemon. He's got a nice entrance, hasn't he? <laughs> Jimmy Sour Hero? Yeah, yeah, I agree. He is pretty sour. <laughs> wow. Bastard. Jimmy is our hero. Fantastic, Cocky. Thanks very much. <laughs> I don't mind saying thanks. Obviously, I'm not Jimmy Fantastic. I'm uh, Jim Smith Mountain, just the commentator. <laughs> the veil has been lifted, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Eat his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Laura. <Oregon. laughs> Same shit, different names. Wow. You can tell Lee and Gary's really loving it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's possible, Nick. Here he is. Woo! Yeah, looking a lot more animated when he's not under the thrall of the country wizard. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Frank Alive Beach. Oh dear. I just like I've just I've just got a memo here and uh, <laughs> it says if Jimmy Fantastic was to go one on one with Goliath, he would destroy him. So that's all I can say on that. It's PTK! It sure is. Hey folks, PTK of Dance Dance Revolution. Coming off a win in his last appearance, I believe. And he's looking pretty thrilled with himself about it. <laughs> I love that he's got the P on the on the on the Titan Trump. Yeah. <laughs> PTK. <laughs> his face but still looks like him <laughs> he's my favorite wrestler ptk oh i haven't changed the champ all right and off we go big six-man match all of these guys looking to and the long run of the fucking rats this with their tag partners in a couple class. weeks at SummerSlam. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh really cocky, oh man. Oh. Float over DVT there by Lemon is good on PTK outside. J5 finds himself in a precarious arm bar but able to get out of it. <laughs> oh, it's possible my dogs are going to start howling their brains out because they think. Someone just came home. Mm -hmm. Oof. Nice even big knees to the guts on Chunter, but Lean Guerra there to distract him from any sort of advantage. Uh, it was Lemon is good, Unseen Walker. Lemon is good ended, ended the uh, night. <laughs> That's why he's in such a good mood today, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Not being sour. Ah. Oh, but that'll make you sour. Driving Lemon's head into the ring post there. Trying to make some lemonade. Oh, J5, though. Top rope Johnny, here it comes. Oh, Will baby. he eliminate the tag team champion? Chunter oh. in trouble. Will he go for the pin? No, he goes to the top rope again. <laughs> J5 cannot help himself. Oh, and he hits them both. Hits them both. Quick pin. This could be it for Chunter. Oof. No, just the two count. The resilient rat, as always. AV9. The resilient rat. Very good. And J5, for his trouble, gets Lean Guerra manhandling him in the corner. And now J5's down for a bit of a nap, folks. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh and cuddling PTK now. <laughs> yeah, that's more what I expected from him. <laughs> Snack attack. Oh, night dude, look at this. Brutal super. Yeah. J5 getting stomped on by Night Demon. Got some co napping outside the ring. Chunter and PTK. <laughs> oh, and uh, dropped on to PTK. His lemon is good. Oh, gosh. PTK. Annihilates Gary. Absolutely. 
J5 has not resorted to his match losing uh, Shake, Rattle, and Roll yet. <laughs> Seems to have the advantage here on Night Demon. Oh, <laughs> big stomps, though. Oh, and top rope Johnny cannot. One more time on Chunter, too. He's really trying to drive a point home to the tag team champion. <laughs> oh, there it is. The diving headbutt and the pin. This could be it. It could be. He's coming. And that is it. Look at that. The unnatural smackers have basically won the titles. They have pinned the champion. What incredible form by Johnny Five. Satterfield backstage probably taking pictures of beer and watching the match maybe also. Got to be happy about that one. And just like that, the unnatural smackers win the hearts of all. And they are in the driver's seat for the two heads titles. Absolutely. Or, if you prefer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, look at this. He's clear on house, isn't he? J5, he's on fire tonight. Absolutely on fire. Yeah, sure is. He came to play it, but I mean, you know. Really, no one in the arena should be surprised. The one of the unnatural snackers ever let you down in the past. Just perfect forms, like like literally Adonis bodies, wrestling, just wrestling out the ass. Their technique is flawless. It's really exactly like, I mean, look at, look at how J5 took that spill over the top onto the floor. He just died from that punch. He really knows how to take a punch. He certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> they were, yes, they were Lingari. Um, Satterfield was out of favor with Gorilla Metzo for a while, but then... Uh, ancient history, like... ancient history, newly uncovered information has just supported the fact that the Unnatural Snackers are just laser-focused tag team, really deserve all of our love and respect. And, uh, boy, I can't say enough good things about him, Jim. I don't know if you can tell. What can you say? He, he, Gorilla just calls it like he sees it. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh god, here's the choke slam. Oh no, this could be bad though. PTK sticking Ooh. in for a choke slam. J5 was caught off guard, but look at look at the brains of J5 just rolling out of the ring like a fucking dead log. And that prevents him from getting pinned. Just incredible tactics, incredible stuff. <laughs> Look, 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 in, in this current uh, ramshackle uh, federation that we're running where, you know, the owner just picks and chooses his favorites to win, where there's no real honest and safe competition anymore, you got to have at least one guy with a little bit of integrity who can call out talent that, you know, is down the card a bit, <gasps> like the Unnatural Snackers, when they do everything right. Look at that. The curb stomp to Lemon. Plus some open. Ref not counting. <laughs> Ref not counting. Ref didn't give him. Oh, oh my goodness, that was like an eight count, and just like that, J5 screwed again. <laughs> oh God, look at that from J5 annihilates, annihilates Night Demon, and then Gary kicks him in the fucking gut. That was PTK, but absolutely. What did oh, I say? Another stomp to the gut. He said J5. Did I? J5 sizing up Lemon there. Oh, the DDT. But Lemon able to fight out of it. There's action in the ring, but who cares? J5 outside. What a whirlwind of agility and, and expertise. <laughs> As he gets thrown to the ground. <laughs> Lean Gary kicked Night Demon afterwards, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, here's PTK getting... <laughs> Kick the fuck Yo. out of Lean Gary. Oh, J5, that low kick to the midsection there. And then another one by Lemon. This is a match contest between these two. Absolutely, of course. Rest for business, one of the top teams in the JF Dub. No doubt about it. I mean, one. they are no unnatural snackers, but they are right up there. They wouldn't be in this match oh. if they weren't. Huge inverted DDT. This could be it for PTK. Yeah. Oh, PTK in trouble here. 
He's done. And that is it. Liam Guerra with the elimination and then runs away from Night Demon to catch his breath. Doesn't get far enough. And now, oh, the double underhook, whatever that is. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh dear me. Glorious. J5 strategically resting up for the long haul against Lemon. And look at that. Suckered him right in. Gets the oh. knee. Going top rope again. Oh, maybe not. Trying to. No. Oh, boy. Oh, no. His one. His one Achilles heel. No, no. It's, this no, is the no, uh, curb No, it's the stomp. curb stomp. Doesn't go for the shake round. Look at that. He already busted Lemon open with it. And here's the pin on Lemon. Johnny Five. Oh. Just the two count. Lemon stays in it. Unbelievable. Outrageous. And it's now hard. Lemon's saying it's over, but I think he's underestimated his opponent. It's hard to squash the lemon, isn't it? Holy shit. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, but it, yeah, yeah, look at that. Lee Garrett knows what's up. Breaks <laughs> up the pinfall. J5 has a reprieve here. Good oh. lord, he got a lemon. Oh, but not to be forgotten, Night Demon and Six Feet Down Under, they've been a little uneven as of late, but they sure did come onto the scene with a bang, looking to maybe take out fan favorite and now match favorite, Johnny Five. Ooh, that backstabber. But again, the brilliance of J5 to roll out of the <laughs> ring placidly and lie on the outside so he can't be pinned. Just incredible stuff by Johnny Five. <laughs> Yeah, Lemon is pretty fucking jacked, isn't he? And oh. there it is, Night Demon versus Lemon, two of the most technical, technically proficient wrestlers in the JFW going at it unhindered. But Lee and Guerra back in the ring now, looking like he wants to mix it up. Oh, Lemon! Oh, oh Lemon with the big springboard crossbody! And he's got him! He, he stuns! Suns Night Demon eliminates him, and we are down to two and J5, the man of the legend. He might get him as well. He does. And look at that. And here it is. Who could have written it up any better? Titans of the industry, Johnny Five, and also sharing the ring with him. Lemon is good, and Lemon getting stumped by Johnny Five. <laughs> and J5, oh, look at that, the standing moonsault right into the pin. This could be it, folks. It could be. It is! And it is! And here is your winner and soon to be new tag team champion Johnny Five of the Unnatural Snickers! What a glorious performance that was, wasn't it? Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> My neighbors must think I'm fucking insane right now. <laughs> Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I guess they probably are. You know, <laughs> that weird dude is growing all that weed in his yard. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, glorious. That was pretty epic, wasn't it? Beat the, eliminated the champ and then eliminated uh, one of the top contenders in the final. Yeah, team. and there you have it from where I stand. Johnny Five. Satterfield, the unnatural snackers are currently leading the pack in the argument of who should get the title shot at SummerSlam against yeah. the fucking rats. Can't really argue with that, can you? That was very yeah. impressive. Just like J5 sails through the skies as top rope Johnny, he dotted that exclamation point. And uh, yeah, now we've got to sit through this. Hey, look. At the end of the day, <laughs> although there's been rampant, uh, you know, although there's been rampant uh, accusations of bribery in the JFW, um, if you send me a big packet of biscuits, 
you get the main event. So <laughs> we've got Fall Falls versus Shawnee, <laughs> the former, the former Rude Han tag team. They've split up because Fort Force just decided to fuck off and leave Shawnee to fight the tag team by himself. And now they're having the the match to end all matches. Um, and then this tag team. And the night. You were dumb enough to give Fault Force your address? Yep. Well, he's filming you while you sleep now. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Prob he probably won't touch you, but he's definitely filming. So as long as you're cool with that. Yeah, it's romantic if they're good looking. That's what that's what I learned from uh, Twilight. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that's true, Moradam. Yes, people have. Paid for the hand belt. Um, did you? I, I guess you didn't didn't see the didn't I watch the vod Moradam man um, last night. Not last night. Monday night. I got everything finished. Um, so we've got the ham arena and the ham belt, and <laughs> some people have got ham outfits. I tried. To I, do was prom I was I was promised we wouldn't be promoting that abomination during JFW time. Hey, it's fine. Look, it's all part. It's all part of the brand. If you if, yeah. if people want to tune in for Hamageddon sometime, they're welcome to. <laughs> How much did you delete all the ham stuff? <laughs> 50p. All right, and here comes Shani, betrayed by Fault Force. Both of them off to their single starts. Both of them undefeated as singles competitors, but that will probably change tonight. Unless there's a double count out. <laughs> no way, Sean A. They both won, didn't they, in their debuts in singles competitions? Sure did. Shawnee in an excellent match, too. Yeah. <laughs> Two packs of Tim Tams. Oh, I do love me some Tim Tams. We can buy those at the grocery store. <laughs> at least I can. I've never had a Tim Tam. Do you like chocolate biscuits? Yep. You, you probably like a Tim Tam. Oh, they look like uh, they look like penguins. No, a penguin is an animal, Jim. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tim Tam is a biscuit. They look nothing alike. Have you <laughs> never seen a penguin before? <laughs> it's a small, flightless bird that lives in southern Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do look similar to penguins, though, don't they? I, again, I point to the bird aspect being the only penguin I know of, other than the hockey team. You don't know penguins? Is... No. They look a bit like Tim Tams. <laughs> oh, well, I know Tim Tams. Okay. Yeah, now I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of town, folks. It's time for Shawnee versus Bob Force. The battle to end all rude hams. <laughs> yeah, Shawnee might throw a ball shot and get DQ. That is a definite weakness you know, of his. <laughs> he also did throw a ball shot and not get DQ'd uh, on Monday, I believe, as did uh, Fault Force's opponent, the Kurgle. Uh, well, I think that was an extreme rules, the uh, the Kurgle. Oh, that was. Yeah, you're right. That was. And Shawnee won with a figure four leg lock, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it just got him. It just got him. Uh, it just got him excited. I think. Battle for the oil bottle. Oh man. Yeah, well, you gotta know whoever wins this match is going to be two and zero as a singles competitor, and looking at their respective divisions, Fault Force, a super heavyweight, recently given the dwelling address of Jimmy Minmax Tastic. Gotta believe. He could probably go do something foul to win that title. And Shawnee in the Chaos Chosen division might be looking at what's going on with that belt and kind of wondering uh, where he can fit in, uh, try and try and get that title away from the uh, seemingly endless Rick and uh, Rick Reckless and Squirrel Dude feud. Yeah. Yeah, the Rick and Squirrel saga. <laughs> 
Yeah, and if you weren't tuned in on Monday, go to YouTube right now, search for Jimmy Fantastic, and look up that conflict because Squirrel Dude came out, knew he was going to get ditched again by Rick Reckless, called out Mr. Jim McMahon, called his shot saying he wanted that main event book, and sure enough, it was booked, but we're not getting it until SummerSlam, folks. That's going to be a hell of a thing. I can't wait to see what Rick Reckless versus Sean... Uh, squirrel dude brings to the table yes it's uh, very exciting stuff isn't it oh, <laughs> oh god it could be a double count <laughs> nah it'll be fine <laughs> Shawnee a cerebral wrestler He's a, he knows what's up yeah that's true the dirtiest player in the game yeah, he wants to win this, not clean, but he wants to win this definitively so he can move on from the boiled egg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> lamingtons, what are lamingtons? <laughs> I don't know what lamingtons are either. Do you really not know what penguins are? No. Oh, wow. Do I have to, do I have to, if I Google it and a fucking picture of a penguin comes well, penguin bar time. then. Try penguin bar. One yeah, minute. we don't have those. Mm. Yes, they do look almost identical to Tim Tams though. Yeah, yeah, we we've got penguin bars in uh, in England. So one of the things you can do with Tim Tams that you can probably do with penguins is you bite off each half of it and then you use it as a straw to suck like you well you can do anything like chocolate milk or hot chocolate or something or coffee to yeah. brew it. And then you shove the whole thing in your mouth and it just dissolves in your mouth and it's fucking amazing. Yep, that's that's exactly what we do with penguins, yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they call them Tim Tam Slams. I can't imagine, what do they call them, penguin? Nothing, They just it's just what you do with penguins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Jim, you can bite the head off a penguin and suck it anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to my Tim Tam Slams. Oh, penguin pounder, that's good. It's golden gear time, a real thing. <laughs> I'm going to assume uh, lamingtons, like a packet of lamingtons just sounds like cigarettes. Like Australian cigarettes. Oh, I looked it. I've seen something like that before, to be honest, the lamingtons things. <laughs> Penguin penetrate. Oh, God, Shawnee's busted open. Yeah. Oh, the surprising agility for the big from the big man there, wasn't it? Oh. Looks like uh, Full Force was taunting the referee then for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. But he punches oh punches Shawnee off the ring apron. <laughs> like how Full Force has got blood on both his hands just from beating the shit out of Shawnee. Stigmata, baby. But Shawnee, here we go, trying to mount a comeback here. Yeah, that is true, Ansi. Shawnee, basically, you look at him, he probably bleeds in this game. Oh, yeah, maybe, if that's a thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a very hopeful pin by Shawnee, yeah. Yeah. The unfuckable one. <laughs> Is there a is there a song a wrestling intro that like I am unfuckable something like that? No, there's no song that says I am unfuckable. Jim. Like something similar though, like I am. Maybe that was like the fabulous Moolahs. Unstoppable or something, you know? Like, is there something like that? There is the I am the top one percent. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> you do. Unfuckable. <laughs> yeah, exactly, J5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Wrenching that arm into the rope there, hurting the bicep. Bicep. Biceps. Hey, he did the flare flop! Oh, oh no, Shawnee! <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, brilliant. 
Sign of the times, but now Paul Force catches the leg into the Dragon Screw. Now, right back on top of Shani. It's looking like this might be over sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's beating the fuck out of Working over those knees so he can't apply that figure four. <laughs> Ineffable. Ah, <laughs> very good. Rick. I thought that, uh, I thought there was like a song from, hello Rick, by the way. I thought there was a song from somebody like, I am. Um... The top one. Oh, there's the low blow on Paul Force, and Shawnee gets himself disqualified. <laughs> Just sending the the message. He does not give a fuck about the wins or losses when it comes to Fall Force. He can have the win, but he's claimed his testicle. Good night, sweet prince. That's all he wrote, and that's his Rocky Mountain oyster for the night, baby. Oh dear, that was uh, that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. And Shawnee really likes we, to that, get disqualified. I think it's because he's got like, you know, a hundred for, for desperation and a hundred for like aggressiveness and stuff like that. So he's, he's just a proper dirty bastard. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as you would expect from a Wednesday world class, it was a fucking weird night, but it was uh, short and sweet. And that's going to be all from me, Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you for having me as always, Jim. I will see you all at Friday Stand Firm. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.